the, the image that we've got here is just a um, a, a good example of of a, a zebra danio, or two, in fact, two zebra danios. But it just shows how the pigment the, and where it is in the chromatophore can actually influence the color of the fish. So these are two fish that were kept in very different conditions. They've they've been photographed against a black background just for comparison. Mm -hmm. but if you look at the top one, that's a, a zebra danio that's against a dark background and it's a healthy fish. And you can see it's got those lovely black lines that we recognize in zebra danio. Yeah. If you look at the bottom fish, that one was kept in, in against a white background. And what the fish does in a, against a white background, it stands out too much if it's really black. It's got the really black yeah. line. So they try and camouflage themselves. Now, they can't do that totally, but what they try and do is go a lot paler. And you can actually see how the pigment cells that in the black line are all expanded and, and several layers of them. So you've got that thick, dark yeah. black line. On the bottom image, you can see the actual black dots. And that's where the pigment is all contracted into the center of the color cell, the chromatophore. And you're actually seeing the paler background. So you don't see that. Well, you can see the dark lines, but they don't look anywhere near as intense. And that's entirely down to the background of the of the that the fish has been kept in. And, and you can yeah. do it yourself temporarily. It doesn't harm the fish at all. You can put um, a tank with anything. Guppies are great. Um, barbs are really good for doing this. Zebra danios, obviously. If you put your tank and just put black paper on the back and the sides and just leave the fish in it for a day, and ideally with dark substrate, but the substrate isn't as important. And just take a photograph of the fish and then put white paper on the back and the sides and leave it for another day and take a photo. And you'll be amazed at the difference in the color. The, the fish against a dark background just try and merge with the background, which means being more intensely colored. So you get a denser, brighter colored fish against a, back, a dark background as opposed That's, to the white. That that's and, absolutely amazing. I've I've heard many discus breeders actually doing this uh, with their discus, and and that they they can influence somehow their coloration by by changing various backgrounds. So so I knew that it's I knew that it's possible, but it's amazing that fish actually have this ab ability. And they, and they can do it so quick. Um, the thing is, if you're if you look at if you change the background color and watch, everything happens so slowly that you don't notice it. So. It's better to do it, take a photograph and then leave it for a day with a different background. And, and it's done yeah. in, a, in a lot of ways that koi keepers, koi shows. If you go to a koi show, you'll always see the koi are in a blue vat. And that's because yeah. blue is perceived as a dark color by the fish. So the coloration becomes intensified. Um, if you go to a guppy show, the guppies are always shown in tanks with a black background and a black base. Yeah. If you show them against um, a pale background or, or no background and just bright lights, then they don't show their true color. 